Hello fellow detectorists. Yes, here I am again, back out on permission number three. Still going over the rape fields. Nothing has changed up here. Um, there's been no harrowing or cultivating or ploughing or anything like that as yet. So I'm going to give it a go today. It is the 4th of August. I'm here most of the day. Uh, I'll give it another go on some of these rape fields. Uh, over the oilseed rape plant stubble and we will see what we get uh, Last week I had a strange copper item that was gold gilded and uh, Somebody kindly left a message and said uh, it could very well be a cigarette case. Well, I looked up um, Cigarette cases vintage cigarette cases and it does it does look very very similar I'll put up a picture of what I found and what I also found on the internet uh, right now. But yes, that, that's what that, I think that is. And I also had a, a tiny miniature little spoon. I had a couple of suggestions on what uh, that is as well. It's it was broken but you could tell you could still see the bowl end and I'm pretty sure uh, I was told and I I'm pretty sure that, that is probably a a, a snuff um, spoon or something like that um, But we'll give it a go up here today. We'll see what I find. And as usual, you'll see me at the first. Oh, by the way, yes, it is Tuesday. Um, I'm on holiday all this week. So I wanted to come out today and hopefully on Thursday as well. So you, as long as everything goes according to plan, then you will get extra videos this week. And I'll also be out the following Saturday as well, my normal day. Um, but anyway, I'll get on with it here today and you will see me as normal at the first find. Bye for now. Here we go folks, we've got our first find. <laughs> and look at that. It's a little Roman coin. That's brilliant, I can't believe that. First find is a little Roman coin. Now this only gave me about 47.50 on the display. But it was a good sounding tone, so I dug it. Thinking that it might be a small hammered coin or something like that. But that was, like I say, 47.50. And it looks like, it almost looks like on the back as though it's what they call these, is it a standard bearers or something like that? Brilliant. That's great. Yeah, look, that's lovely. Anyway, let's carry on. Bye for now. Here we go folks, we've got our next target and it is that. Now at first I thought this might have been a buckle fragment and I suppose it still could be but it's got that riveted on the back and I've never seen a buckle with anything riveted to it before so I wonder what that is. Obviously it's not complete um, but like I say, 
I've seen buckles in this sort of style but never with um, anything sort of physically riveted to them Anyway, we'll carry on. Here we go, folks. Got another target, and it is another coin, and it's another Roman coin. This is, uh, this is great, this is. Um, can only just can make out some writing barely on the left. On the back, you can see what I think is what's left of a man standing or somebody standing on the back. That's great, that's brilliant. Another Roman coin. As most of my viewers will know, I don't. I don't normally get much Roman many Roman finds I should say but here on permission number three they're starting to come out that's lovely let's carry on Here we go folks, we've got a strange one here. It's that. Um, I don't think it's lead. I think it's metal, but it's obviously snapped off of something. First I thought it was a musket ball, but it's definitely not a musket ball. Anyway, we'll carry on. Here we go folks, we've got our next find and this is quite interesting. I think this might be the remains of a Roman brooch. Um, like I say, there's not a lot left. But I think it's got detail on this side you can see like a rib going down the middle here but is that the remains of a Roman brooch? I think it could be it's got that sort of shape to it and like I say it's got this rib going down the middle let me just wet it again There we go. 
go. Now if that is, that's lovely. I've only found a couple uh, Roman fibula type brooches. I'll take some better pictures, you'll see those shortly. Anyway, we'll see what we get next. Here we go, another find, and it's this this time. As you can see, it's not much, but I thought I'd show it because it's got looks like a couple of little rivets there, um, and it looks quite old to me, but it's not much. But I just thought I'd show that one. Anyway, let's carry on. Here we go, folks. We've got our next find, and it's another Roman coin. Um, unfortunately, this one is only part of it, sadly. That's the back of it. I think. Can't quite make out what's on the back of that. There we go. I say, I'm not quite sure. You can see some writing there around the outside edge of it. Not quite sure what that is on the back of that. Um, but on the front, you can see the Emperor's head there, just. That's lovely. Like I say, it's a shame it's any part of it. I'll have a go in the hole again and see if I can't find any more, but I don't think I broke it. I think it's been like this some time. That's great. Anyway, let's carry on.
here we go folks had another find here and it's quite a nice one but again sadly it's not the whole thing but that is a hammered coin now I think that I think it's just broken through either the plow or naturally in the ground but that there I think is the side of a shield and the center part of the cross on the back of this hammered coin stops just here on the edge of the coin here where it widens out now I think that's the what you can see what's left of a shield on the back of this fragment of a, of a hammered coin now whether that's a Lizzie or a Charles or a Henry I'm not sure but that's what I think that is so still lovely to get So that's a hammered coin as well. I'll have a little quick search around here so if I can't find any more of this, but I doubt I will. Anyway, let's carry on. Brilliant. Now then folks, I'm getting a good signal here. It's giving me 72, 76. So I thought I'd try a live dig. See what it is anyway. out seventy seven is usually a good basis for a, a coin right, so there it is look can you see it it looks at the moment like it might be a button. Yeah, it's a big button. It's lost its shank. That's not bad, that's a button. It's a decent size. Anyway, bye for now. Here we go folks, we've got the next find and it is a button, um, but it's one of these hollow buttons um, and it's got the usual sort of design on the front, is it a lion and a griffin or something like that. But it's a bit smaller than normal, these hollow buttons are normally a bit bigger than this, but I just thought I'd show that, it's nice. Anyway, let's carry on. Here we go, folks. My next target is another coin, but I can't make out who that is on there 
they're facing left so it could be quite an old half penny anyway it's nice can't see anything on the back we'll carry on bye for now Right then folks, we've got something interesting here, poking out the clod, um, that's it there, I thought I could see some detail on this, anyway, we'll have a closer look, oh that's nice, that Well, to tell you the honest truth, I'm not sure. I was going to say that it was a strap end, but... I suppose it still could be. It could be the... Um, up this end, it could have been... Uh, where the rivets were and it could have been quite a nice little strap end Still I'll give it a little spray and we'll see if we can't just clean it up a little bit, but that's interesting Yes, there we go folks How about that? I think That is what they call um, zoomorphic, uh, I would guess, either Roman or Saxon strap end, or what's left of it. You can just see here, it looks like there might be a couple of rivets, and this end bit here, which is missing, is what would have been strapped onto the end of the belt. That's lovely. Brilliant. How about that? Anyway, let's carry on. Let's see what else we find.